soft in major cities across the country. Now, if we wouldn't have warned them that was coming beforehand, they wouldn't have gotten as freaked out, maybe. But now they know the rest of the agenda attached to it. So now they've got to be prepared for destruction when the establishment tries to take over. Don't think the globalists don't have big computer algorithm diagram actuaries of exactly what your department's made up of and who you stand for and what you're going to do. You've been marked by hardcore criminals for extermination. And we're just here giving you the heads up because we're all in the same boat together, whether we admit that or not. That if they try to pull that hammer, if they drop that hammer, that hammer dropping is going to destroy them because we're not going to be caught flat-footed. We're ready, and we know what's going on. And we've done everything we can in a wholesome way to try to stop this. We have been defending peace by preparing for war while we have been warning and offensively getting the word out and digging in at the same time. And if the establishment is crazy enough to make a full hot move, their cold war is failing against the patriots of the world, it'll be a bridge too far. It'll be a touch too much. And it'll be the end of their new world order. Dead on arrival. And so we are here affecting the current, near future, and future sociological space. The battle space. And knowing you're under attack is half the battle. And by the way, that's not from G.I. Joe. That's an old army saying that they put in the cartoon. Knowing who the enemy is, knowing where they are, knowing who they are, knowing how they operate is half the battle. The rest of the battle is simply pointing out, we're the good guys, you're the bad guys. Fundamentally, at a gut level, everybody knows that. They know evil's rising. They know it's coming after the people. And they've got an army, probably 30% of the public, that are totalitarians, that are selfish, that are weak, that are pathetic, who think it's cool to ban the Bible, who think it's cool to arrest gun owners, who think it's cool to forcibly abort babies, who think it's cool. They think by submitting to the system, they gain power. That's how pathetic they are. Now, coming up, poll, Donald Trump surges to 32% support. Bernie Sanders overtakes Hillary Clinton in Iowa. The Pope meeting secretly with John Boehner. Saudi Arabia has 100,000 air-conditioned tents that can house 3 million people, sending empty, yet has taken zero refugees. But nobody's going to criticize them because the Saudi royal house has brown skin. So if they go cause the wars that cause the refugees, that's okay. They don't have to do anything. So that's all going to be coming up as well. We've got MS-13 running around crazy, massive illegal waves coming in there, economy news and more. I've got Donald Trump backpedaling, saying, oh, no, we shouldn't take all of these, quote, migrants. How about I just migrate and come knock on your door? In fact, I'm going to do this with a camera. I'm serious. Make me do it. I know I'm busy, but I want to do it the next few days. And I'm going to go to trendy areas that have Democrat signs in their yards. And I'm going to say, hey, uh, I'm a migrant. I'd like to move into your house, and I'd like a free lunch, and I'd like to have your easy chair. And they'll go, get off my porch, man. I'm going to say, but I'm a migrant. I mean, I have a right to, will you pay for me to have a baby? They're going to laugh at me. But see, that's their attitude, because they're stealing. They're getting government contracts. They're getting welfare. They're getting, so see, this is a voting block that's going to help them get more of the goodies. They want to rob me. But see, they don't want to pay for anything I'm doing. The most selfish people you could ever imagine with their rackets. Now, let's see some of these selfish people. If you're a radio listener, it's powerful. But if you're a TV viewer, it's even more so. Infowars.com forward slash show. Mark Dice, San Diego, packed fall beach. Looks awesome. And the, the, he shows everyone he talks to. This is not just finding the idiots. This is shockingly, again, the same number, about 8 out of 10, 
saying ban the sale of the Bible in bookstores and on Amazon. Here it is. Mark Dice here at the beach with a petition asking people to ban the Bible from Amazon.com and Barnes & Noble bookstores to see if these liberal, fascist, anti-First Amendment scum will agree to pulling the Bible from these stores. Excuse me. We're trying to get Amazon.com to pull the Bible. There's a lot of hate speech in there. and. We're just trying to gather the signatures to get them to just, just remove it from the listing. So uh, to support that, just need you to print birthday signature. We're submitting it to Amazon.com and to Barnes & Noble. Just to have them remove the Bible from the listing, just to stop hate speech. These Christians don't need to be buying that kind of material these days, wouldn't you agree? That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we're just going to get Barnes & Noble and Amazon.com just to just to stop selling that kind of material. I mean, I guess you could still, if you own one, you could still keep it, I guess. We just don't want any new ones being sold. Right. Thank you for supporting that. To stop with the hate speech and the homophobia, but we need a few more signatures just to make sure that we can ban the Bible from yeah, being right. sold anymore. People don't need to be buying that kind of book these days, wouldn't you agree? Yes. Absolutely. I'm not sure where these people get this idea that they think they have the right to buy that kind of material, right? Yes, sir. Thanks for supporting that. Appreciate that. Just help us fight homophobia, trying to stop with the anti-homosexual hate speech. We're just trying to get Amazon.com. Who's doing that? Well, the Christians in their Bible. Uh, we're, come on, I'll sign it right yeah. now. We're trying to get Amazon.com to pull all sales of the Bible. Just print your name there. Print birth date signature to support Amazon.com pulling the Bible. These people don't need to be purchasing that kind of material these days. Wouldn't you agree? They want it, they can go get it somewhere, somewhere else. Somewhere else. Oh, my gosh. From Amazon. Thank you so much. All right. You got it right there. But we need a few more signatures to Now, one to guy gets mad sure and almost happens. attacks him. Just yeah. a normal response yeah. to a hardcore a fascist. The Bible delisted from Amazon.com and taken away from the shelves and Barnes and & Noble and other bookstores, but we still needed a few more signatures to show the American people are on board with that. Wouldn't you agree? It's time to get rid of that kind of material. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you for supporting that. Appreciate that. Trying to get Amazon.com to stop selling homophobic material like the Bible and and other things, That's but That's we need a few These more guys signatures. guys got pentagrams sure on. That they delist that. Yeah, and, I think she gets uh, power out of that. There. Wouldn't you agree? It's time the Bible stop being sold around these outlets. Thank you for supporting that. No problem. This petition will help to remove the Bible from Amazon.com. This is actually thing. 9 out of 10 signing. Just to help fight the, for the New World Order. Just to help fight for freedom. Want to help us out here? It's about time we do take these radical measures like this for the New World Order to just to help move America forward. Delisting the Bible from Amazon and Barnes and Noble bookshelves too. We're going to get it pulled from there. Thank you for supporting that. Good Thank luck. you so much. Let's fight Slugs. hate speech. We're trying to get Amazon.com to ban the sales of the Bible just to just to help stop the hate yeah. speech. No, no worries. Well, I'm not sure why these people think they have a right to buy that kind of material these days. Wouldn't you agree? No. You know what I'm finding interesting is that the people who don't want to sign it are being way too nice about it. No, no thank you, not today. They have absolutely no spine. And this is why Christians are getting crushed and have been targeted for termination because they don't have the spine to stand up for their rights or for their beliefs. You know, we don't need that kind of material being sold at, on Amazon or in stores, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, you can buy it anywhere else. Somewhere else. Thank you for supporting totally that ban. We're going to try to get it removed as soon as possible. Thank you. <laughs> we're trying to get Am we're trying to get amazon.com to pull the Bible to stop selling. Well, just What's wrong with that. You know, a lot of the homosexuals are offended by it and we just feel that it's maybe time to pull it from Barnes and Noble well, and That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It is. You got to be kidding me. We I am kidding you actually. We're doing silly. a hidden camera prank. Yeah, right. No, we are. Look no. over here. Check it out. No, no, don't stop. No, there. Stop. We got here get trying to get that stuff. That's crap. No, we're just we're demonstrating how the people will so, will support that. Yeah, well, uh, it's a bunch of crap. No, I don't I don't yeah, I'm trying to tell you what we're doing. I don't yeah. Uh, it's a First Amendment issue. We're showing how people will 
violate the First Amendment of the Christians because they're so biased and hateful towards Christians. That's why I told you we're doing a hidden camera prank over here. You're absolutely right. I'm I'm pretending to be a radical liberal oh, okay. to see if they'll sign it, and they are. They'll yeah, let's ban that. Let's get that delisted. We're just showing how the liberals are so hypocritical that they'll want to take away the First Amendment of the Christians. So it is ridiculous. All right, all right. Thank you very much. That's the kind of reaction I've been expecting. Great, great. You know, thank you for being a normal American. Thanks. Appreciate it. And there you go, folks. Uh, it's just absolutely mind-blowing that these people are like this. And some of them just do it to be left alone. Others agree, oh, yeah, let's restrict that. Let's ban that. And, and, of course, that's nothing compared to the other videos where they say, put us in forced labor camps, put conservatives and Christians in camps. As long as you say, for Obama. These are cult members. And I know I keep hammering that. It's just, it's really hit me lately. And I get mad at them now. I went to the hike and bike trail yesterday morning and I saw a lady getting in her car that said, I love Obamacare. And my phone was dead because I hadn't been charging it or I would have videotaped this. I was about to go up and meet Buckley. We, we also shoot a Facebook mentions right before I go hiking or jogging, depending on what I do. And I said to her, I said, hey, have you gone under Obamacare yet? And she just wouldn't even talk to me. I said, well, you got a bumper sticker. I'm asking you a question. And I said, let me guess. You're a state employer, a federal employee. And it's all handled by that. You don't even know, do you? And I looked into the window of her car. I went, oh, yeah. Look right there. You got a state employee State of Texas deal hanging around your mirror. She's like, whatever, whatever, just got in her car. I mean, she doesn't even know what she signed on to. She doesn't even live in the real world. Written by foreign insurance companies whose profits are all out the roof right now, fraudulently, massively increasing premiums. My insurance has more than doubled. My parents, who haven't had a claim in decades, who have full coverage for catastrophic events, who pay their regular doctor bills, saw it double the first year, and then now it's almost doubled again. And then I tried to go renegotiate and get new insurance, and they go, sorry, you have to wait till September. So it's now September. That's when open enrollment happens, so I can try to go find something cheaper. I mean, I used to just call up whoever I wanted and get rates, and, and no, it's all gone now. Thanks a lot. For screwing everyone over. And then Gruber sits there and laughs and says how dumb we are and how it is a big screw job. Ha, 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 ha. And you people stick stickers on your car about what a great deal it is. You people are part of a schmuck cult, a idiot cult, where you celebrate being used, where you celebrate being morons, where you celebrate being screwed, where you celebrate being fooled and dragging all the rest of us along with you to hell. <sighs> and I'm so sick of all your labels. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I oppose tyranny. I oppose monopolies. I oppose not having choice. And you people are a joke. Now, I haven't gotten to very powerful video up on Infowars.com. Abortion survivor gives powerful testimony before Congress. In fact, can we tweet that out from the InfoWars link? I want to send that out to everybody so they can see that. We're going to play that next hour. Congress starts the Planned Parenthood hearings. I hope it's on a white wash, but victory's ours. Don't worry. I'm going to talk about how we're going to win. This is just the beginning. They'll, they'll try to whitewash this. There'll be more infiltrations. There'll be more Veritas-style infiltrations by other groups, by us, you name it. No one's stopping. And all the great anonymous patriots that are tired out there are now moving against the enemy. We're beyond the cell structure of, an, of a resistance. We don't even have cells. We have hearts, and we're directed by providence and by a love of the innocents. And our people are everywhere, and we will never stop, and we will never forget your crimes. And our numbers are growing, and we are in every organization, every system. We are watching you. We are going to expose you. We are now moving against you on every front. That's coming up. Uh, the fall of Hillary becomes more imminent.
I'll admit I'm licking my chops, not out of some personal vendetta, but the fall of the Clintons will have a chain reaction. I'm going to talk about that. It's all coming up. The secret meeting. Notice Boehner and Pope to meet privately. No, that's to meet secretly with another head of